Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 73 of the FIFA 21 My Player Career. We have the semi-finals of the Super Cup in Spain to play today and we are at home taking on Valencia so it is going to be a tough game but Real Madrid have to be the favourite surely and we are in fairly decent form right now, not as, as hot as we were last season. Uh, but still, we are going to be up around there come the end of the season in the league and, of course, in the cup competitions where we are hoping to add a little bit of silverware in today's episode. But first, we've got to get past Valencia. Get past Valencia and then, of course, it is the final where we'll have that chance to lift some silverware uh, this season. And a good cross there. And unlucky, we could not get that one on target. But the chance may be still be on here for Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr. with the cross. And I think the goalkeeper is going to get there first. He did. Only manages to punch it, though. Should have really held on to that. Maybe Kai can swing one in. Oh, good block there from Valencia's defenders. So onwards we go then. Still 0-0 in this game. Who is going to break the deadlock? Real Madrid are looking the most likely to do so as we press forward yet again on this near side. Asensio it is. Nice back heel there from him. Finds Kai Kai. He's going to get between the two defenders as he does. He needs to get this one into the centre though if he can. There is the cross. Benicius Jr. with the header. It was on target but not enough power on there to get past the goalkeeper. So after 22 minutes it is still goalless. 7.2 match rating for Kai. As he tries to charge through the defence here, Vinicius Jr. gets that one back in the middle. But the defender was first on it to get the ball clear. But Real Madrid have it back. Kai shoots. The goalkeeper forced to make a save there. Silicent, it is in goal there for Valencia. But a long range effort there from Kai. Doesn't score many long range shots. Uh, maybe that one was maybe sliding a little bit to the left of the goal. Uh, but of course it could have gone in. We'll never really know, but again, Vinicius Jr. this time, the goalkeeper is on form today. He made some cracking saves here for Valencia, keeping them in this game. And of course, keeping them with a chance of um, some silverware. But let's try and break this deadlock. It's a tough game so far. Here is Kai, lays that one forward for Vinicius Jr. He's got support if he can just get this cross in. He's got space in front of him. Here is Kai. Good turn, opens up some space, shoots and finds the back of the net. That bumps him up to an 8.8 .8 match rating now for Kai. 54 minutes on the clock, the deadlock finally broken. Good individual play there from Vinicius Jr. He didn't rush it, he decided to step back, find some space, open in the middle, lays it off to Kai, who in himself did a good turn and then finesses it with his left boot into the back of the goal. And there he is with his first goal of the game. And that's, his, in fact, his first goal in the Super Cup for Real Madrid. Will it be enough to get us through to the next round of this competition, of course, into the final? Uh, but as we are in possession right now, it is Kai just inside his own half. Lays that one onto that right wing for Asensio to run onto. Not sure why Asensio is playing on the right wing. He's normally on the left for us. Here is Valverde. Lays that one through. And Asensio runs in the middle and finishes it coolly. To give Real Madrid a two goal lead and I think that is going to be enough to get us into the final. Uh, not entirely sure who plays in the other semi-final so no idea who we could be facing in that cup final. Uh, but we are going to be going into it. I can't see Valencia getting themselves back into this game at all. But there is the goal scorer Marco Asensio who makes it two goals to nil. There is a change here as well there for um, Real Madrid. 9.3 match rating for Kai going into the final 15 minutes in this game. So a good performance from him. Uh, but to be fair, it's been a good performance from every Real Madrid player up until this point. And Kai wins the ball back. He's going to run through here. He's going to ask for it. He does. He's got space in front of him. Vinicius Jr. on this near side. He finds Vinny Jr. who finds the back of the net at the near post. I'm not sure what the defender was doing on the line there. I think he went to clear it after it had gone in. Not sure uh, what he's thinking. But three goals to nil. Uh, perfect play. Kai was the player who initially won the ball back there. And then he asked for it back. I think it was Valverde. And then beautifully played across the middle. And Vinicius Jr. had loads of space, loads of time. Decided to hit it first time and finds the back of the net. Um, another late change here then for Real Madrid. Um, 
Lopez has gone off. Good clearance there by Real. Maybe one last chance here for Valencia to at least get themselves a consolation goal. No, it's not going to happen. Good defensive work there from Real Madrid. Cayenne on there as well. He's on a 10 rating, so man of the match performance from him as Mendy tries to charge down the wing. Valencia do have the ball back, but there is the final whistle. So after 90 minutes, Real Madrid take the step into the final of the Super Cup. Three goals to nil. Great performance all round. And look who we do take on in that final. It is a Madrid derby. Real taking on Atletico. Now who's going to come out on top with this one? Atletico Madrid currently top of the Liga. Or La Liga I should say. Um, but it could go either way. Hopefully we can get the job done ourselves. And lift the trophy at the end of this game. It's not going to be easy though. That's for sure. Atletico have beaten us already this season as well I believe. Um, at the start of the year, but here is Kylen in possession. Let's try and get ourselves an early goal. Three goals to nil in the last game. Good performance all around, as I mentioned. Kai was playing good. He had a man of the match performance as well in that one. Hopefully, he's not too tired for this game. Uh, but mostly, the early possession belongs to Atletico until there. So, 13 minutes gone. Real Madrid back with the ball just inside the Atletico half. Here is the center. He's back starting on the right side of midfield here for Real Madrid. Kai tries to get the cross in, which was blocked by Harry Maguire, of all people. So two Englishmen coming head-to-head -head in this game. Crossed in there by Vinicius Jr. The goalkeeper, All Black, clears and the volley was there. That would have been quite some finish there from Grimaldo if that had found the back of the net. Worth the effort at least, but still no nil into the second half we go. Um, Cortino it was, or Cortino, Courtois, why am I say Cortino? I have no idea, but Courtois it was who clears it. Real Madrid do need to get this ball a little bit more forward though, which we are trying to do right now. Here is Grimaldo. Kai. Oh, Valverde plays it through for Kai. He's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper and Kai is not going to miss from there. And finally, the deadlock has been broken here with 15 minutes remaining on the clock. Real Madrid have the goal which could help them lift the trophy in just a few minutes' time. But good play here from Valverde. It was a good little one-two there between Kai and Valverde. Kai even could have laid it off there for Asensio who was through on goal. But he's got the confidence to take it on himself and he finished. So one goal to nil into the final minute here. We are just waiting for that final whistle to blow and Real Madrid will have their hands on the Super Cup. Come on boys, let's wait for that final whistle. Can we finish off with another goal? Oh, it's going to be a late free kick here from a handball, I believe it was. Just blow the final whistle and we'll have it ref. There's even going to be a late change here as well for Atletico Madrid. Not needed, um, but let's try and get a second. Let's really wrap up this cup. Uh, good um, clearance there by Oblak and there blows the final whistle then Real Madrid take it one goal to nil the only goal of the game going for Kai of course but it is Real Madrid then who win the Super Cup and hopefully the first of a few more trophies to come this season it is going to be Martin Odegaard who lifts the Spanish Super Cup he is the captain of Real Madrid and there we go confirmation Real Madrid are the champions so onwards we go then before we do end today's episode we have one more game to cover um, as you can see in the standards there Atletico Madrid still that have the upper hand in La Liga so we need to get ourselves in a good run of form in La Liga which we are trying to do right now uh, only two points by your hind Atletico and I think we still have to play them one more time so win that um, and hopefully we will be in the upper hand of the standings uh, but of course hopefully that game alone is not going to have any say in the league title we want to maintain it or retain it I should say uh, but good play here from Real Madrid Kai winning the ball back tried to get the cross in was unable to do so and uh, good block there by the home team and they do eventually get the ball away or well, maybe another chance here for Real to get an early goal Kai lays that one forward for Odegaard who just lifted the um, Super Cup and his shot was pretty poor there. But at least we're having the early say in this game. But 52 minutes gone, no goals yet to speak of. A little bit tougher than we was um, hoping 
as Sancho yet again on the right side and that is going to be a penalty kick it must have hit his hand with that block so it is going to be a chance here for Real Madrid to take the lead from the spot kick and I'm sure it's going to be Kai who steps up for this one let's have a look oh that was a little bit harsh there his arms were down by his side as the cross came in but it did hit his arm so as we saw it is going to be a penalty Kai goes straight down the middle of the goalkeeper almost got to that one with his boots uh, but we'll take it that's his fifth goal from the penalty spot as well there for Kai so a couple of um, stats and attributes unlocked as well there for him so ever increasing his overall rating very very close that one but it went in that's all that counts that's his 14th league goal for the season remember his goal target is 30 and look he could have probably taken the shot off there instead of trying to lay that one through for Martin Odegaard so it didn't quite work out for us there but let's try and get a second goal 24 minutes remaining here is Odegaard Grimaldo to Kai Kai just runs into a defender Vinicius Jr Come on, get this one in the middle. Here is Valverde for Real Madrid. Asensio with the turn. Kai plays it through. Asensio could have taken the shot off himself, but instead tried to play it through for Kai. Kai lays it off for Odegaard. Odegaard with his low shot, but it was a good save there in the end. So it is going to be a corner kick here for Real Madrid. Will it come to anything? It goes towards Kai, but just over his head. And it was the defender who gets the ball forward. So 9.2 match rating for Kai as we do head into the final couple of minutes of this game. Uh, before we do end today's episode, we will have a quick look at the league table as well. If we do obviously win this game, we could be top of La Liga, depending on what happens in the Atletico game, of course. Uh, but late change here for Real Junior. Firpo has just come on for Lopez. And now we'll just wait for that final whistle. Just waste a little bit of time at the back, boys. And we will have confirmation of the three points. There we go. A nice win. We've lifted silverware as well in today's episode. So as I promised, let's have a quick look at the league table to see exactly where we stand. We are still in second. Atletico did win their game. But we are looking good for the final few games of this season. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.